Hi everybody, welcome back. This is the Westlands Reacts videos. Hi. We're starting to really enjoy doing these, aren't we? Oh, this is this is a little treat on a Monday night. <laughs> we decided now that we're going to start recording like two or three of these back to back um, because we enjoy doing them, but we don't have a lot of time. We are currently um, working on new material, writing an album. We've got festivals to get ready for that we're playing. Um, and for the one um, viewer of the last reaction video that kind of was very confused by the fact that we are a country band and we are in the UK, yes, we are trying to do that. We <laughs> we know it sounds weird. It's um, it's work. <laughs> but th th there's a lot of country bands in the UK now, um, people, so we implore you to go check them out. Um, and big, big, big news. Um, I really went weird then, sorry. Um, we are starting a new podcast. Yes, we are. And we've got a brilliant first guest. We'll announce who that is in, oh. in short time. Um, but we've, uh, we're starting a new podcast, and this podcast is going to be talking to actual musicians who are out there doing their thing or industry professionals, as is our first guest. Because, mm, so, frankly, Steve and I don't spend enough time together. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're in separate houses. We're not like, maybe you should just move in with us. Like, <laughs> maybe, <talking. yeah. laughs> make renting, make the rent and mortgage cheaper, wouldn't it? Um, we, yeah, but we're starting a new music podcast um, and it's going to be talking to artists, signed, unsigned, music producers, um, producers. Uh, <laughs> I'll put my teeth back in. Anyway, enough about us and what we're doing. Let's go in and let's have a listen to what's going on. Um, if I didn't mention it in the last video as well, where we have a new single coming out, you can see it at the bottom. There'll be a link. And it's a cracker. It is. Well, we think it is. Yeah. Um, oh, hang on a minute. What's going on here? All right. I need to just go to YouTube. I'm just on YouTube. Now, what are we searching for now? We, we're searching for Ren. Um, now, I've been told we've got to listen to them in a particular order. I've written down the order. Because I oh, think I'm so prepared. Well done. I think I, when I listen to these, I think I listen to them in the wrong order and they didn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, so here's me hoping now that I have it in the correct order. And the first one is going to be Jenny's Tale. Okay. Okay. Four years ago, this Want one. Want to become an amazing content creator? You should use Motion Array's template. Four years ago, mm. this, this video was out. Don't have to. Oh, what's with the adverts, man? I see they say. Doing it live again, aren't they? Quiet dark night in the empty street somewhere at another city. Reggae. Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet. She was heading back home to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor because she walked it about a thousand times before she wanted to escape. Can you play? Well, on the very same night, in a different place, there was this hooded young youth by the name of James. He was 14 years old, and out of his brain, he'd been smoking ganja with the boys. James, he grew up to be a kid of the street. His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet. He was a liar, a thief, but 14 years old, the devil had set his sights on his soul. As Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared. Usually she was all right, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware. Maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Siren sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime all under the streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it. Bitch, are you listening to me? 
Jenny Freeze is touchy yeah. like a lady shake stalactite Feel like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move but stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking god I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheep that the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. Sorry, just gonna pause it for just a second. It's like a an oral assault, isn't it? It's just bombarded with sound. It's amazing. Is this people he knows? Is he like people he's come across? Is it stories he's heard of? Or is he just making it up? And if he's making it up, then someone needs to wrap this guy in bubble wrap because, like, he's a genius, and he like that's like, you know, when I said to you before about the court jester kind of start thing, yeah. that bit of guitar he was playing right at the very beginning gave him that sort of court jester kind of medieval vibe, and then he yeah. goes into the which is almost like the tapping bit in um, ACDC. There's so many musical influences in this. And then he comes out and starts singing with that reggae sort of style beat. There's like, it's, he clearly listens to all types of music. Yeah. He must do because there's so many different influences of music in his, well, then I don't know. Are they, are they even songs? Are they stories? These, I don't know. It's almost like, Poetry, I think. I don't know. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Of. It's a shame I couldn't show this to uh, some of the kids I'm teaching tomorrow. Mm, yeah, they're not allowed to listen to swears, are they? Mm. But I think this would be a brilliant thing to show them, though. Do you not think? Even like if you've got a 14, anybody 14 and upwards who's sort of doing any sort of English uh, language work, learning about Shakespeare or anything like that, that would probably find Shakespeare pretty boring, um, <laughs> might really enjoy something like this which from a storytelling point of view is just as powerful that's yeah, let's, let's keep going let's keep going it was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at none city very reggae jenny lay still on the cold concrete she's found somewhere to sleep well she knew this town she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped It's such a shame I love the fact that they're live, man I just, I just love it It's just, it's so good that it's live so in that story, then Jenny's walking the street. She gets that sort of feeling that you get when you think mm, something just doesn't feel quite right. Instead of turning around, she carries on going the way she's going. And then she meets this screech, screech fella who's lost his mind gonna, a little bit by the sound of thing, And he's going to mug out. He's going to take what he can. And then he's going to, yeah. It sounds like he said he took the knife like concrete or something, and then she fell to the floor like butter or something like that, mm. and she found somewhere to sleep. Um, so that implies that she's dead. Mm. So let's listen to see this next one. She screeches tail. So good at the guitar, though, isn't it? Oh, nylon strings sound amazing as well, don't they? Yes. Man. Yeah. This screech, dear boy. Where did he go? He melted into the black night just like snow. 
Patrick, man. Let me in, please open the door. I think I fucked up, Patrick. Really fucked up, man. I'm not sure. I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor. I think I killed her, Patrick. Come on, man. I can't knock no more. But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore. But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54. No refuge for our villain, for the bitter hands of fate. With something far more sinister in mind, does away. He's going to end up being an actor in all sorts, isn't he? <laughs> he is. Hey, babe, you in? Now, nothing really. I'm just a bit tired. Listen, can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch! For fuck's sakes! Notice his cadence then when he was speaking. He was still felt like he was in so the, the rhythm yeah. of the song. <laughs> I feel like we're going to see him everywhere at some point in the near future, like on everything, like in a film or a movie or something. I don't think he's just going to do music. <laughs> Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech Richard was an officer who stood as his foot free Working London on the night shift What he didn't think he'd see Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed With no time to hesitate He fired four bullets at Screech's chest <laughs> Oh nice <laughs> That's so good oh, Very good our story, it ends right at the start. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. Nice! An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless and it's such a shame. It's such a shame. Ah, uh, that's was, that was pretty <laughs> cool. So cool. I I am trying to, by the way, viewers, for the few people that message me saying um, about the subtitles at the bottom, I keep getting rid of them and they keep coming back. So I apologise, because they're not always correct. They actually spew out a lot of the wrong yeah. yeah. So that's really uh, that's really quite interesting. Um, so Screech has obviously gone and confronted the police, and he's and he's found his demise. Definitely can't show this to the kids now. <laughs> Stop what you're doing. And now we've got Violet's tale, so we're going to find out now what Violet has to do um, with all of this. Um, uh, but, yeah, so far, again... Just lyrically, just it's storytelling, and it? it's just purely yeah. storytelling, and it's, it's crazy poetry. To, it's poetry to music. Yeah, it's mm. it's, it's absolutely. So all good songs are like some like one of my favourite songs of all time. I mean, I'm a big Bruce Springsteen fan. And if you listen to Thunder Road, that's just poetry to music. Yeah, I think Bruce, I've always seen Bruce Springsteen. Well, since I've, as an adult, as a kid, I hated it, but as a as an adult, um, it's poetry. <laughs> it's poetry to music, that and song. that's. Well, that's not what I'm um, I hate that song. But, I, I only hate it because of the last minute of the song is just those words. <laughs> <laughs> but it's poetry. It's poetry to music, and that's exactly what Ren's doing. Yep. All right, then let's watch Violet's Tale because this is going to be quite a long video. Um, so let's jump straight into this one. I love the little licks at the beginning of each song. Yeah, brilliant. That's that 
quote jester thing again? Yeah. He's just showing off now. London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive Rhythmic beeps and bloodstains, she's our lady weep, she's tired and frail To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale oh. <laughs> I love that. We're going to rewind the hands of time. And then he's kind of almost like a rewind sound on the guitar. <laughs> that's that's clever. That's very clever. Oh, what did I do? I got rid of it. I love the fact there's no other instruments. <laughs> Violet was a silent girl, grew up with violent stars Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard Every night he took a tie but never left the room I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16 A semi-detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick <laughs> Violet was a silent girl and Violet she fell fast See Stevie was the wrong and the Isha knew how to charm her Every night he took a tie but never left the room history repeats itself he paint her black and blue and dark she never stood a chance the oh. devil comes to dance oh, oh. nice, nice line why are you always so quiet on her bedroom door and he's tired. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes, but her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fist when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detached fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke. Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet. Silence. Fucking say something, Violet. Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. It's like a piece of performance art. like he's going to be like the next Martin Scorsese or like a Quentin Tarantino. London City, far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. The doctor in a state of shock saw something here so very wrong. See, Violet, she was pregnant. Poor Violet, 
She was nine months gone Turning to the doctor Violet broke her silence And she cried If I'm to die Right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed The lights went dim In London City Far from pretty Two zero zero five A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side A girl named Jenny oh. And a boy named Screech What? Oh, that's flipping brilliant! <laughs> I got goosebumps. Oi, oi, oi. And Screech and Jenny were brother and sister. Yes. I thought it was when I heard it before. I was like, but I watched them in the wrong order. <laughs> this yeah. makes way more sense watching it this way. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't understand what's happened to the story. It's kind of bit. Um oh, wow. I feel like he's like the Quentin Tarantino of music. That's just his music's so dark, but yet, yeah, from a storytelling point of view, he paints the picture so brilliantly. It's like I know exactly what he's you know what I mean? Like the way he, he does those little monologue, those little monologue sections that he does, and he's yeah. just talking it through. And his acting skills are brilliant as well for someone who appears to be completely self trained. I don't know. I don't know. Did he go to acting school? I don't think he did. I, I, yeah. I've been looking some stuff up on him, but that's br those, that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. We've proper I'm fallen hooked. into the Ren rabbit hole, haven't we? I'm hooked. Give me more. Give me more. Apparently, he has got another song that's a bit more of a rap track. Um, called Sick Boy. Maybe you have to uh, check. Oh yeah, I think I listened to that one. You listened to that one, yeah. Yeah. Um, I haven't listened to that one. <laughs> So we've done that one in reverse. Um, but yeah, right. I don't really think there's much else we can say. My mind has been blown. The guy's a flipping genius. Thanks to everyone who said to uh, check out those three videos, because I never would have picked up someone like Ren or listened to those. Do you know, since we've started doing these, we found Hardy, mm. who we I will be doing some... Um, we, I, I do want to do another video on Hardy, but obviously we can't do a reacts to because we have both listened to the album now, probably yeah. numer probably numerous times. But I'd like to just talk about the album a little bit in a future video because there's yeah. lots to talk about in that album. It's so yeah. clever, just the way it's done. Maybe that's one for the new podcast. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Guys, thank you again for watching, if you have watched, because at this point we don't know whether you're going to. Um, please like subscribe to the channel it's really really helping us out and don't forget we have music of our own so if you like music you might not necessarily be into rock and country but go check it out anyway see whether you like it if you don't like it just you know don't be too nasty <laughs> um, keep it to yourself yeah <laughs> everyone's entitled to an opinion <laughs> please don't. We're, we're very sensitive souls we're very sensitive please don't upset me and my <laughs> mom will come round to your house yeah. Oh, yeah. And your mom's like more aggressive than I imagined she would be. <laughs> She's a very supportive mommy. She was like, she turns up, has got a purse, is like holding a purse like this. Like, and she's like, and she was like, I feel like fucking slapping her. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and she was explaining something to. I was like, what the? What? Where's this coming from? You see where I get it from now. <laughs> oh yes. And yet your dad's just like, yeah. I'm just gonna do as I'm told. I'm not gonna That's... argue with anyone. Yes, my dad is super chilled. <laughs> <laughs> he has to be. <laughs> oh, best fair play to him following you around with you with the with the old music. My uh, my dad does the same, but I think he's had enough of me from the twenty odd years of following me around football matches. Uh, right, let's go into another video. Um, I'm just gonna um, say thank you very much and goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Right, just for the purposes now of me making this easier for myself to edit, I'm going to end this and then reopen another one. Okay, I'm just going to go and get a quick coffee. Okay. So give me two, two minutes. minutes. Yeah.